Hello everyone and welcome to Daily Readings episode 17. Is this a special cloth that I'm using for some sort of holy arrangement? No, I'm simply reading my Bible and studying in between loads of laundry like so many other females do. <laughs> We are actually going through the book of Jude, as we have been for um, this study of 17 episodes thus far, and what we are finally at is going through the remainder of verses one at a time, making certain to actually understand what it says. So, I'm reading out of the New King James Version, the Study Bible, and earlier in the episodes, we had actually really dissected what verse 1 says, as well as verse 2. They were going to reread them for the sake of reminder and fluidity. Greeting to the called. Jude, a bondservant of Jesus Christ and brother of James, to those who are called, sanctified by God and the Father. Well then, why did I read it that way? <laughs> Greeting to the called, Jude, a bondservant of Jesus Christ and brother of James, to those who are called, sanctified by God the Father and preserved in Jesus Christ. Mercy, peace, and love be multiplied to you. As a very quick review, we can see how Jude is a bondservant of Jesus Christ and brother of James. However, they had two different fathers, so it would have been considered a half-brother, but a complete brother indeed. So we also see the relationship, a family bond between Jude, James, and the Lord Jesus Christ. To those who are called, sanctified by God the Father, and preserved in Jesus Christ. How is this possible? It is possible through the blood of the Lord Jesus Christ and the acceptance of that gift upon one's life. The buying of that soul and understanding what happens in that sanctification and preservation when someone accepts the Lord Jesus Christ as Savior. And what exactly happened on the cross when Jesus died Shedding his blood for our sin, fulfilling the gospel, raising from the dead three days later, being altogether God. Mercy, peace, and love be multiplied to you. Those words, mercy, to refrain from Harm, peace, the opposite of war, love, the opposite of hatred. Those things are wished and multiplied to the people in which this is written to. Mercy, peace, and love be multiplied to you. The set tone of which this letter is written. Now, contend for the faith, beloved, while I was very diligent to write to you concerning our common salvation, I found it necessary to write to you, exhorting you to contend earnestly for the faith, which was once for all delivered to the saints, for certain men 
have crept in unnoticed, who long ago were marked out for this condemnation, ungodly men who turn the grace of our God into lewdness and deny the only Lord God and our Lord Jesus Christ. This verse, beloved, what is that word? What is that referring to? Who is that referring to? It's referring to those that are in Christ. To those who are called, sanctified by God, the Father, and preserved in Jesus Christ. That is the beloved. The church, those that trust in him. While I was very diligent to write to you concerning our common salvation, I found it necessary to write to you, exhorting you to contend earnestly for the faith, which was once for all delivered to the saints. Since his intention was one subject matter, and then Holy Spirit breathed and spoke to him about how necessary it was to encourage the people to really contend earnestly. We would say, really fight for, really be steadfast in, really be determined for the faith which was once for all delivered to the saints. So keep keeping that faith, exercising salvation, trusting that what they do is correct and righteous. So beloved, while I was very diligent to write to you concerning our common salvation, I found it necessary to write to you exhorting you to contend earnestly for the faith which was once for all delivered to the saints. Not only was he instructed correctly to do this, he desired the need to do it. I found it necessary to write to you, exhorting you to contend earnestly for the faith, not for themselves, for the faith, not for any other reason, but for the faith, which was once for all delivered to the saints. Note, every choice we make affects the following generation. It affects the same generation in which we're in. It affects generation upon generation. And Jude was encouraging these people to do so. As this was preserved for us, we get to be encouraged to do the same, to contend earnestly for the faith, which was once for all delivered, given as a gift to the saints. He's about to tell us why. He's about to tell us for the twist He's about to tell us why he made a twist in writing to us, to the people of the day, and why this was preserved. We're going to look back and see the timeline in which this is written. The risen Christ appears to Jude and other family members 
In circa AD, Christ after death, I believe that stands for 30. It, the C may stand for something else. I should look into that deeper. Something else that has gone on. That's what's going on, evidently. This is the timeline. The risen Christ appears to Jude and other family members. A.D. 54 to 68, Nero is Roman Emperor. C.A.D. 60 to 64, Jude writes his letter. C.A.D. 67, Peter and Paul are executed. C.A.D. 70, the Romans destroyed Jerusalem and the church is scattered. What would this say in the timeline in which you would be delivering the gospel and for warning people in your present day? Would it say C.A.D. and your birth? What has happened? God is determined to work in your life. And you are in the church era, in the church age. Who is the president during your term of living? What letter, what word will you deliver to others? Who are the martyrs of your time? What enemies? are destroying the holy city or trying to? And is this church scattered or are we seeing unity? Those are things are to, to uh, consider as history repeats itself. Thank you for tuning in to this episode 17 of daily readings to comment or ask questions or if you would just like to meet up please send an email to winsongbreedinglife at gmail.com thank you so much for tuning in